Many thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. Justice Okon Abang of the Federal High Court in Abuja has found Oli Samitu, former National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, guilty of money laundering in the sum of 400 million naira. Metu, who stood trial alongside his company, Dextra Investment, was found guilty on four out of the seven charges brought against him by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. In his judgment, Justice um, Abang dismissed Metu's defense that he had no idea that a set sum was proceeds of corruption. Abang held, quote, It is my view that Metu took possession of the 400 million naira from the office of the NSA without contractual agreement. He is guilty of money laundering and is hereby convicted. End of quote. Aminu Shigali, Speaker of the Kaduna State House of Assembly, has resigned from his position. Shigali conveyed his decision to resign in a letter dated February 25th and addressed to the clerk. The lawmaker, who described his office as an appointment, said he resigned on personal grounds, though there are reports of a plot to impeach him. Yusuf Zailani, former Deputy Speaker, was thereafter elected Speaker of the House. The Medical and Dental Consultant Association of Nigeria, Metcon, has embarked on an indefinite strike action over the requirement of the National Universities Commission and UC for clinical lecturers to have a PhD. Speaking at a media briefing on Tuesday in Jaws the Plateau State Capital, Kenneth Ozoilo, National President of MCAN, said the action is to press home their demands. According to him, a circular by the Commission states that consultant doctors must obtain a PhD as a requirement to earn promotions at the university where they teach. He said the circular must be withdrawn because it was done without due process. Lawmakers at the Senate on Tuesday asked President Muhammad Buhari to constitute the Board of the Federal Character Commission, FCC. The resolution of the Upper Legislative Chamber was sequel to a motion sponsored by Ayin Naya Abaribe, Senate Minority Leader. While moving the motion, Abaribe said the Commission has not had a constituted board since 2018. The Minority Leader said the development contravenes the Constitution as amended. The motion was thereafter adopted after it was put to a voice vote by Senate President Ahmed Lawan. The federal government has shortlisted Ethiopian Airlines and a consortium of AJ Waters Globally Egypt Air for its proposed aircraft maintenance, repair and overhaul facility. The consortium of AJ Waters Globally Egypt Air was also shortlisted as the preferred bidder for FG's aviation leasing company. The Director of Public Affairs, Ministry of Aviation, James Odaudu, said in a statement that the processes for the establishment of uh, both the aviation leasing company and the MRO facility were components of the federal government's aviation sector roadmap. Former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak has died at the age of 91. His brother-in-law, General Munir Tabet, confirmed that the political leader died in Gala Military Hospital, Cairo, the country's capital. Mubarak, a former Egyptian military and political leader, served as the fourth president of Egypt from 1981 to 2011. Frank Lampard has charged Chelsea youngsters to make a name for themselves in their Champions League game against Bayern Munich tonight. The Blues will host Bayern Munich in Europe tonight in what will be Lampard's toughest test since he became manager. Bayern, who are currently this year's top goal scorer, are European heavyweights and are looking to win the competition. And that's the latest from the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. Bye for now.